We knew this was going to happen. We knew there'd have to be a change on Snow White because they were just ticking so many people off. From the actress, Rachel Zegler, to the dwarfs that weren't or aren't and didn't get casted. Maybe they will now. I mean, Wee Man, he was mad. You're replacing jobs that people could have as little people. Okay. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, it's for dwarves. Why are you hiring Snow White and the seven average people? They want to make it right. They redo the movie and they oh, recast. Okay. Make it better, Disney. And everyone else is mad too. I mean, the actual actress that's playing Snow White in this Disney remake, because apparently they can't come up with anything original these days. It's all the remakes. She herself didn't like the character Snow White. She talked about how she was scared of Snow White as a kid. She didn't like her, didn't respect her, blah, blah, blah. Well, and then she said this. You know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Super Weird. Super we have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because, like, we cast a guy in the movie. Right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. Yeah. It's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. So then the rumor mill started going, 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 going. I mean, first it was the dwarves, then it was the actress herself. Then everybody was like, okay, this show is not even getting made. In the meantime, da -da -da -da, in comes Bent Key Productions and a superstar over on YouTube named Brett Cooper, who has the financial backing of the Daily Wire. They're coming out with their own Snow White, the one that I know I can take my kids to. Once upon a time, but now that time is gone. Anyway, this whole thing has been just such a disaster. And Bob Iger, he's now the CEO of Disney. He was the original Bob, and then they brought in the new Bob, and it was a total train wreck. And so now the old Bob is back, and he's looking at it going, oh my gosh, like, what have I created? What is this beast? And you've got this whole woke insanity business going on that, you know, is, is getting to the point of just being too much. They know it. We know it. Even South Park knows it. Are you still here? You need to get going. I can't get going. I told you I don't feel well. How do you get your mom arrested for child abuse? She wouldn't let you stay home and play Baldur's Gate 3, huh? Dude, you don't want to miss school today. Clyde said he's going to fart on Timmy Mullins during P.E. Ah! Ah! Eric, it's okay. I it's got... okay. Ma, ma, I had a dream that I was replaced by a diverse woman. Oh, not again. So finally now, they're getting it. They're starting to figure it out over at Disney. That, you know, maybe spending all that time and all that money, what, took them like a year to research how they should treat the whole short stature thing. And then they came up, with, they came up with, okay, let's just cast tall people and one small person. I mean, what a mess. And the whole, you know, actress thing and you can't fall in love. I'm sorry, but like, what is there? Thank you very much. Other than love in life. I mean, give me a break. What, you're going to tell people, no, 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 you're going to go remake the world in your green energy vision. That's your goal in life. Forget about growing up and marrying a nice man or woman, a prince or a princess, because, you know, that's just fairy tale stuff. That stuff doesn't really happen. I'll tell you, it does happen for people who are lucky enough to have it happen. And you should want that. You should want that. You should start out in life wanting everything, right? But there's a whole woke mentality out there of not only should you not want that, but in some cases, Maybe because of the color of your skin, you're never going to get it. Right? Like it just doesn't exist. And this kind of victim mentality is what is putting us in such a bad, bad place. I am thrilled that the rumors are turning out to be true there over at the Snow White production. Because you know what? There should be some accountability, right? You need accountability. Whether you're talking about politics and, you know, the, the Harvard lawyers but all thought they were going to get a good $215,000 a year gig at Davis Polk that signed off on that sheet saying it was Israel's fault within moments of 1,400 innocent victims being killed. There's some accountability here because Davis Polk, the fancy law firm, said, yeah, we're not having you come work for us. They rescinded that offer. 
And there's some accountability here, even for Disney. Right now, they've had to slow down production. They're delaying production on this thing. And, and it looks like small people are coming back for the win. Wee Man, way to go. Sometimes you got to, they, they have to lose. They lost it then. And now they got to come back better. Make it better, Disney. Someday they'll all find out. Someday they'll figure it out. But in the meantime, what can we do <laughs> but to find another show or two? Look, I'm inspired. I started singing. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button, that you hit the bell. I'm here every day. We got a full live show. I look forward to seeing you back here.